Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create sales tracking dashboard in Microsoft Excel with data entry form. As you are seeing my screen, we have created the sales tracking dashboard with multiple slicers to filter the data like date, sales rep, product, sales channel and region. You can select any date to see the data for that particular date or similarly you can select the sales rep, product and channel or the region and the whole data will be filtered automatically. We are showing the total sales, discount, net sales and this is net sales by region wherein we are showing the number and the percentage. Here net sales by the sales channel and this is the net sales by the sales rep. In the descending order net sales by product and this is net sales by date so this is the daily trend. Okay, now I'll show you the sales sheet also. This is the sales sheet wherein we have the data. You can capture this data using the data entry form. We have protected this sheet. You can't enter the manual data here. You can just need to click on the add new record and here just select the sales rep name and before that uh, if you want to change the date you can change it. By default it will be today's date. You can change it using the calendar. So let's say I'm selecting here 10th September. Okay, and sales rep name, let's say this one, product this one, and input the unit sold, let's say I'm saying 30. Automatically total sales will be calculated. Select the region from here. If you want to input the customer name, you can input, otherwise you can keep it blank. Sales channel, let's say retail. If you want to input the discount uh, in the percentage, you can input, otherwise you skip that automatically total sales will be calculated enter here let's say 5 so the 5% discount will be considered remarks if you want otherwise just submit that okay so data has been submitted you can see and now here we can see the new record this one okay for 10th of September and automatically that will appear in the dashboard also so you can just select and you can see that record which you have just entered Alright, so this is totally dynamic and now let me show you the list sheet. So this is the list sheet wherein we have captured the name of sales rep, region and the sales channel. In the product master, we are capturing the name of the product and the unit price. Okay, now I will show you the data entry form first how we have created. So let me go to the developer tab and visual basic. This is the data entry form we have simply designed using the combo box and the text box and these are the command buttons. This is also the command button. Okay, we have this calendar. I have already created the videos on the calendar part. So I have just integrated the this calendar with this project. And uh, now let me show you all the coding of this. So just uh, double click on the user form activation first. So first it is creating the drop down list and putting the default date in the text box one this is the text box one so the default date is the date which is today okay and creating the list using this sub procedure first of all we are creating the list of the sales rep in the combo box one this is combo box one and here we are creating the list from the list sheet so on the list sheet on the column a we have the list of sales rep Similarly, for the region in the combo box 3 and uh, sales channel in the combo box 4. Okay, in the combo box 2, we have the name of the product which we are capturing from the product master. Okay, so that is how we are creating all the list. The reset form is the reset form button, this one. Okay, this one clear button. So it will reset the form. So we are making all the control if that is a tax box or the combo box should be clear and default date on the tax box one will come today. For tax box three and tax box six, we are making uh, it should take input only in numbers. Tax box three is this one, which is unit sold and the discount this one, which is tax box six. Okay, these two are the tax boxes wherein we are entering the data as a number. Okay. Now let me show you the other things also. Now we are calculating the sales also. So that means total sales and the net sales are the calculated field. So if I show you that is tax box 4 and this is tax box 7. So tax box 4 will be multiply of tax box 3 and tax box 2 price and unit sold. The same thing we are doing here tax box 4 is the multiply of 2 and 3. Similarly tax box 7 will be 
the discount percentage we are calculating from here so whatever is the total sales we will use one or the hundred percent minus the discount and then we are dividing by hundred because we haven't take it percentage here and we will multiply by tax box 4 which is the total sale this one so that is how we are calculating the net sales okay once we have calculated we are simply entering this data first we have put some validation like these are the mandatory fields should not be blank and then on the sales sheet we are entering the data first we are unprotecting that using the 1234 password and using the same form we are inserting the data as well as we are updating the data so how we are updating the data let me show you we have here one text box that is txt id okay if we want to update the data we are capturing the id of that record if you see on the data we have the id column right so if we want to update we will capture the id into that txt id box okay and if the id box is not blank that means we will consider we are updating the data if that is blank then that means we are inserting the data okay so this is what we are doing here if this is blank then we are inserting the data then the row number wherein we will insert will be this one and we will input the new id which will be whatever is the maximum id plus one in case of the update the row number we will get using the match function of that id then we are entering whole information on the column B, C, D, E from the different tax boxes. And uh, then we are capturing the tax box 6 because it's a discount. So on the seat we are showing in the percentage. So we are dividing by 100. We are capturing on the L and M tax box 7 and 8. And uh, we are applying the same formatting. If you insert the new record, we'll, we are copying the data from here and pasting as a format. And after that we are protecting this we are refreshing all the keywords and we are making the form clear okay so this is what we are doing here and uh, on the change event of this txt id we are refilling the all boxes from the seat on the basis of that id so we are capturing the row number first using the match function and once we have the row number then we are refilling the form all the boxes from the seat okay let me show you how it is working so let's say i want to update this row number six okay just select and click on update record it will fill automatically whole information you can change let's say i'm saying okay the, it was not 30 it was 50 and just submit that so that information will be changed if i come to the row number six that is 50 now okay and everything is changed like total sales everything is changed so that is how you can update that and if you want to delete any record just select that row anywhere and uh, make sure you have selected the id and just click on delete record and yes the record will be deleted all right so that is how we are maintaining this sales data sheet and now come to the dashboard part so first what we have done we have created a dynamic name let me go to the formulas and name manager and here we have a pivot range and we have used the offset function because the seat is protected so we are not able to see that but you can see the offset function here we have created the dynamic range on the basis of that dynamic range we are capturing all information in the multiple pivots so we are showing here total sales net sales and the discount and then we are showing here region wise net sales then we are showing here sales channel wise net sales then product wise then sales rep wise and then the date wise and once we have created these all pivots then we are creating this dashboard on the basis of that these shapes we have created using the excel shapes so let me add one sheet and we'll quickly show you let's just go to the insert and then insert a rectangle normal rectangle let's say this one and just click here okay and then you can go to the save fill and you can fill this outline and save color just take the white color this one then you can go to the insert and you can insert another shape this time we will take this shape just click and just click here and just place this shape here like this make it smaller and then you can make the color the same as watercolor so let's say this one 
and you can remove the outline from here so take here no outline all right so that is how we have created that those shapes and then we can simply insert the text box like here the text box you can insert the text box and click on the border of the text box go to the formula bar press equal to on the support sheet you can click let's say total sales this one just hit the enter so this is the total sales okay as the total sales will be changed here and automatically it will change here also you can format this like you can remove the borders from here shape outline no outline and uh, you can just change the font color also from here you can just change the font name also from the home and font size also so you can format it as you want you can put one more text box on the top with the name similarly we have done here these are simple pie chart donut chart and the bar chart again donut chart and this is the line chart we have created using the support sheet for example uh, let's say this one just go to the insert insert the pie chart and let's say I have taken this one once the pie chart is here you just select and go to the pivot chart analyze and uh, fill button and say hide all and just right click add data labels select the data label go to the format data labels take here percentage category name and uh, select the label position outside end and you can delete this and then you can change the colors as you want Similarly, you can insert the line chart, bar chart after selecting the pivot. So this is connected with the pivot. If you right click and select data, you can see this is connected with the pivot. And then we have inserted the slicers using the insert and the slicer. And you can select, let's say, date, sales rep and uh, product and you can insert and move to the dashboard seat tab. Okay. So if you click that will be changed you can see this one is also getting changed so friends that is how we have created this dashboard the multiple charts and the slicers friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching